Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Ponderings of the Priest. In our continuing series of Living the Fruits of the Spirit, we have talked about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, and generosity. And today, we look at humility. And the first thing to understand about humility is humility is not synonymous with humiliation. They're two very different things. So what is humility? Humility is coming face to face with the reality of our own imperfection. That we are but one among others. We are no better. We are no worse. And to be humble, to be humble is to not make comparisons between ourselves and others. And what we do in the process is we come to this place of recognizing our strengths and our weaknesses, the good in us and the, the not so good in us, or the bad in us maybe even. And this acceptance of our both andness, that we are both saint and sinner, that we are both good and bad, that we are wonderful and terrible, capable of amazing things and some pretty scary things, that the acceptance of this both andness implies an acceptance of our imperfection rather than to find it in some very specialness. One of my friends likes to talk about, yes, I like to be a special, special snowflake. And don't we all like to be that? So humility is the foundation and the keystone of this spirituality that we accept our both and -ness. Because there is a little bit of good in the worst of us and a little bit of bad in the best of us. And I remember I was, um, I was somewhere one day and when I left this location, this meeting that I had been at, I left going to my car thinking um, how inadequate I felt and how dumb I felt and how not as good as the others who had been at that at that meeting were. And as I sat in my car uh, pondering this, a thought came to me. And the thought was this, and it was actually very humbling, is this, call it the Holy Spirit, this little voice said to me, you know, Brenda, there is no more humility in you thinking that you aren't as good as other people is. There is in thinking that you're better than other people. That our life in humility is about one of balance. And I'd like to close with a quote regarding humility, which is from Ernest Kurtz and Catherine Ketchum. And um, from the book that they wrote together, as they say, the point of humility is to find balance, that place in the middle of life's teeter-totter that allows one foot to stand on the side of God, saint, and angel, and the other on the side of worm, sinner, and beast. Because the truth is, we are both. And when we are humble and we recognize our own imperfection, what it allows us to do is it frees us to rest in the perfection of God, to give us a break from the need of trying to be God ourself or to be so terrible that God wants nothing to do with us. That when we recognize humbly the best and the worst in both of us, what we also recognize is our absolute need of God. And so I will leave that thought with you for today, something to ponder. Have a wonderful day, everyone.